Hello and welcome to Prime Sports. My name is Daniel, Pranting and Minister for Youth and Sports. Mustafa Yusuf has revealed that the state will organize a national dialogue to find solutions to the poor showing of the black stars in recent international tournaments and the general decline of sports in the country. Mustafa Yusuf described the current state of the black stars as unacceptable. The future of youth and sports is aware of disappointments among, Ghan among the Ghanaian populace and therefore intend to put measures that will lead to the national dialogue of all stakeholders to come out with modern and inclusive way of managing our national teams. Way forward, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, the blast of performance in the last major tournament, that is 2020 2021 AFCON in Cameroon, 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, and the 2023 AFCON in Cote d'Ivoire, where Ghana exits at the group stage of all these three major tournaments, notwithstanding government continuous huge investment in the team is not acceptable. The Ministry of Youth and Sports is aware of disappointments among, Ghan among the Ghanaian populace and therefore intend to put measures that will lead to the national dialogue of all stakeholders to come out with modern and inclusive way of managing our national teams. Our blaster will shine again. Mr. Speaker, I must say that the past two weeks have been a very difficult one and worrisome to me as the Ghana's Minister for Youth and Sports. Technical vacancy. Following the Ghana exit, Ghana's, Ghana's early exit from the 2023 African Cup of Nations, coach Chris Hutton was relieved of his job as a blaster coach. This has led to vacancy ahead of assignment, ahead of other assignments by the blaster in 2024. The Ghana Football Association has since set up a five-member committee to commence discussion on the appointment of a new coach and a technical team for the Blaster, as we have agent welcome qualifiers in the Osprey. The sports minister has confirmed Ghana budgeted more than $8 million for the AFCON, got releases of more than $5 million and spent over $3 million. Mr. Speaker, our estimated budget for the 2023 African Cup of Nation tournament was $8,506,450 United States dollars. And this was to cater for the pre-tournament stages, that is our pre-campaign stages. The tournament phase, that's the group stages, and also the 160 stage, quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. If we have gone through all the stages up to finals, Mr. Speaker, Ghana, the estimated budget would have been eight million five hundred and six thousand four hundred and fifty United States dollars. Out of this amount, an amount of five million and seventy thousand eight hundred and forty point thirty six cents United States dollars was released by the Ministry of Finance, of which three million and seventy thousand and sixty seven point eighty one cents was spent on the team pre-campaign in, uh, in Kumasi, that is buying flight tickets for all our team players and technical team from their base to Ghana, and also taking them to Kumasi, and also making sure that their per diems are paid, the flight arrangements for the team, medicals, equipment, and logistics, hospitality. This resulted in a surplus of 2 million and and 0.55 cents after the, our early exit from the tournament. Mr. Speaker, the ministry had negotiated to pay bonuses should the team progress to the next round of the tournament. Therefore, no qualification bonuses were paid, were, were paid due to the team early exit at the group stage. Majority Chief Whip Frank Anno Dump represented a petition to the House on behalf of the Save Ghana football protesters. Let's all accept it, and we must be humble enough to accept that there's something wrong with the running of our senior national team, the Blasters. There is something definitely wrong with that. Now, and I hear all the statements about reform and reform. I hear my colleague, Yonabu Suhini, being very loud, being very clear. 
It cannot just be any reform at all. Yes, I agree there should be some reform. But we must be specific on what we want to do. It's because I dare say that even if, even if we have to interfere to attract the sanction of FIFA, we've heard about that. If we interfere in football administration, FIFA is going to sanction us. And what? If that is what we should come to, if push comes to shove, we must do it to safeguard the, the sports. It is all we have. You travel outside the country, and when, once you say that you are Ghanaian, the first thing anybody tells you is that oh, they mention one popular footballer or the other. And the football, which is a brand, is being destroyed. Whether intentionally or unintentionally, it's being destroyed. And it will not happen in this, in this time of ours as leaders that we will sit down aloof and allow things to run down. We must safeguard the situation. And I'm confident. I'm confident in my friend, the sports minister. We should also not think that we can oversimplify the matter and just zero in on budget. The budget is a microscopic aspect of the functions or, or what we have to do. MP for North Tongue Samuel Okujito Ablakwa has criticized the amount of money spent at the AFCON, describing it as a waste of resources. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the point must be made that the three million dollars that we have spent for just these three matches, the abysmal performance, is in excess of what other countries budgeted for the entire tournament. Nigeria, 1.3 million dollars. Zambia, 2.1 million dollars. Open source information, go on the internet. They pre Zamb Zambia presented 2.1 million dollars to their parliament. And here we are, $3 million, no value for money. Mr. Speaker, the documents the ministry submitted to, to, to this house, to parliament, if you look at how much we spend on qualifiers, Ghana versus Angola, home and away, 7.4 million. Ghana versus Madagascar, 13.2 million. Mr. Speaker, airlifting of, of, of supporters from Qatar 2022, 5.3 million. We are throwing millions, hundreds of millions, into supporting these blasters. We are not getting results. Look at the state of our pitches. We don't even have a single FIFA standard pitch, not one. Youth development is gone. The local league is gone. We'll go for a short break. You're still watching Joy uh, News.